In this video, I'll show you how to, in Microsoft Word, insert images side by side, just like in this example. So I'm starting with a fresh Word document to show you how to do this from the very beginning. First thing you need to do is go to Insert, Table, and choose a table. So in my example, I had four images side by side. So I'll choose this table here, a two by two. Then go back to Insert. And make sure you've got yourself clicked in that very first cell. Go to pictures and choose the picture that you want to insert. So I'll choose a picture from this device. I've already got some pictures prepared. Let's choose this picture of a car. So this is a nice great Jaguar car. We can see this image is already too big. By clicking on the image, you go into picture format and the right hand side, you've got the height. So I'm going to change my height rather than being 18. Let's change the height to eight. There you go. It's got a much better height now. Also, make sure that you've chosen to be centered here. If I was on the left-hand side, it looks like this. If I was on the right, it's like that. You want to be centralized. Go to the next box and repeat the process. So I've clicked in the box, go to insert, picture, this device. I'll pick this gray Porsche. Got the same problem again, the image is too big. But clicking on the image, make sure you're in picture format and make sure the height is the same height as the last one, so that's eight centimeters. So both the Jaguar and the Porsche are both eight centimeters. I'll do this same process again here. Insert, picture, this device. I've got a nice red Porsche this time. Change the height of that to eight centimeters. And then insert picture this device in the very last cell I'm going to choose this yellow Ferrari clicking on Ferrari changing the height to eight centimeters so you can see now that we've got the pictures all side by side but we've got this black border around we don't want the border to be on there so click on the table that you've created so I've got this little box here I can click I'll just click away. You can see there's a box there. So I'll click on that little box and go to table design. And then you've got borders. If I click on borders, I can choose no border. It's now looking a lot better, but it's still not quite right because we've got a gap in the middle here, but we haven't got a gap between the two photos here. Because you're in a table, you can simply click on the side of the image so you can have you, know, you could type if you wanted to not that we want to but what you want to do is press return on your keyboard and we've now created a gap the gap is too big so if we go to home and what we want to do is change the font size so drop it all the way down to eight or whatever number you want you can go even smaller than that so I'll click in there again I'll drop it down to five if I wanted to and that's how you can create your gap you can play around them with the margins of the page if you wanted to. So we go to layout, margins, and make sure it's narrow. And also, because I've gone onto the second page, I can just try and delete the second page, but it's not letting me do that. So what again I can do is drop the font size all the way down. And we can see that we now have four images side by side on the page. And hopefully you found this video useful. If so, please like the video, subscribe to my channel for more top tech tips.